In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform the trend function. The trend function produces a regression line, which is then able to predict values from existing data. So as you can see here, we have data for uh, test scores, standardized test scores, and then data for college GPA. So what we're going to try and do then is be able to make a prediction if we know your uh, test score, standardized admissions test score, can we then predict your college GPA? And so we, we have existing data on both of those variables, the X variable being test score and the outcome we want to predict or the Y variable being GPA. So what I've done here is set up um, two columns. So we've got a, the new test score. So these are new X values that we want to use to predict someone's GPA. So we have three students and these are their test scores and we want to use that to predict what their college GPA might be. And then another column that I'm calling trend is where the predicted values are going to be placed once we execute the trend function. So the first thing we want to do is highlight these cells where we want the function to be placed. In other words, where we want the trend values to appear. We then want to click the formulas tab and then click insert function and then we want to find the trend function and go ahead and double click on that. Now in the first box, the known Y value, so this is the values we already have, the known Ys, so these are the outcomes we've already collected that we're going to use to predict our new outcomes. And then the known X's are the X scores that we already have collected, so we want to click on the ref edit button and highlight the X scores and click enter. Now the new x's are the new x variables that I have determined I want to use to make predictions and again you can have as many of these as you want. Um, we have three of them but you can have as many as you want so I then want to highlight those and click enter. And then and now because we have a series of values we're trying to predict or trying to create from this function uh, this is what's known as an array. So we want to make sure we simultaneously press Control, Shift, and then Enter. And it's going to then produce our three predicted values. So as you can see here, if someone had a test score of 515, based upon this regression equation, their GPA would be 2.93. If they had a uh, test score of 580, they'd have a 3.4. They had a test score of 610, their GPA would be, would be predicted as 3.65. So hopefully you've learned something in this video, and good luck using this on your own.